The chief of the Capitol Police is under pressure tonight from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to resign. Earlier in the day, he defended his department's response to yesterday's security breach. They got 10 people trying to stop us. Stephen Sund writing today his staff, quote, had a robust plan established to address anticipated First Amendment activities. But make no mistake, these mass riots were not First Amendment activities. They were criminal riotous behavior. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is calling for Chief Sund to resign. I am calling for the resignation of the Capitol, the chief of the Capitol Police, Mr. Sund. And I have received a notice from Mr. Irving that he is will be submitting his resignation. Having said that, uh, we have the after action review, but it goes beyond the Capitol Police. It goes to the FBI. What was the, what was the shortcoming in their intelligence that they provided? It goes to the Department of Defense. How long did it take for them to respond uh, or anticipate the need for the National Guard? It goes to many other uh, elements uh, of the f executive branch, and, and I think we have to have the full review. But f from the standpoint of well, let me just say this. Many of our Capitol Police just acted so bravely and so with such concern for the staff, for the members, for the Capitol, for the Capitol of the United States. Many of them, and, and they deserve uh, our gratitude. But there was a failure at, at the, of leadership at the top of the Capitol Police, and I think Mr. Sun, uh, ha he hasn't even called us since this happened. You know, so. Rioters broke in by flooding multiple entrances and smashing windows. Capitol Police appeared unsure how to stop people once inside the building. The department's chief insists they were expecting large crowds outside. Sergeant at Arms submitted his resignation. Chuck Schumer says the Senate's counterpart should do the same. I will dismiss the Sergeant at Arms the day I become majority leader. He must go. He did a terrible, terrible job.